Good afternoon and welcome to today's Sunday preview with Matthew Allen and Cody Pritt. Matt, how are you doing today? I am doing great. I'm doing great. Uh, uh, it's it's hard to believe that this is the last Friday in the month right. of January, Cody. That's right, yeah. And in this month, we've been talking about how God has been securing our uh, salvation yeah. and, uh, and our faith uh, continually and currently right now in the present. Mm-hmm. Um, so just this last one, this last Sunday, uh, which will be the 28th, right? I yes, think so, two yeah. days from now, 28th. Um, yeah. Uh, you're going to be talking about um, the comfort in trouble when we have to face trials. How does God work in us in those situations? You know, it surely can't be argued that we don't go through trials and valleys and difficulties in life. Uh, that that just kind of comes with the territory. And yeah. much of that is because we live in a fallen world uh, that's full of sin. And um, yeah. uh, we, we deal with our own sin. We deal with the sins of others. And it just kind of sets things up on this this domino effect, um, and 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 things happen. So we know that uh, there are things that happen to us, um, you know, outside of our control. Sometimes they happen yeah. because of things we do, but trouble comes nonetheless, and it comes to all people. And you know, Cody, through the years, I've had people ask me, "Why do bad things happen to good people?" And why does God allow these terrible, terrible things to happen to those that love him? Yeah. And that, you know, I've I've heard of people going through difficult circumstances. If God was real, then he would not allow me to be going through this. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, I think we've had these, this question as recently as a couple of weeks ago, even on the, the program, uh, that Your Pathway Home, we've had some questions regarding to a similar, mm-hmm. sort of a similar vein to this. And yeah, I, yeah these are tough questions for, for Dag on Shore. And even yeah. um, even in uh, our uh, our uh, Sunday uh, class that we're going to have for the young adults, we're actually going to be touching this topic a little bit on what do we do when we are praying for people who it seems pretty... Uh, likely that they're not going to make it, mm-hmm. stuff like that. Should we pray with our faith in, in those situations, even though it looks it looks dreary or it looks it looks dire? Yeah. Well, those are good questions yeah. and and things that we 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 search for answers for. I, I would tell you very quickly to answer that question: the effective prayers of a righteous person availeth much. Yeah. James says in James five sixteen. So there's never not a time to take something before the Lord sure. and, yeah, and, absolutely. And, and get it out there. But Sunday, we're going to talk more about this. So 2 Corinthians chapter 1 is where we'll be based out of verse 8 through 11. Paul is uh, starts that section out by talking about a huge problem that he went through. In fact, it was so bad that he he had pretty much given up. He figured his life was over. Mm. And, and uh, in fact, he describes the situation as being beyond his strength, um, he despaired of life, even itself, and the only way, he says, that, that he got out of that situation is by the power of God. Yeah. And so we're going to talk Sunday about the power of comfort, and it is God who sometimes allows us to go through these difficult situations. God doesn't create the situation, but he uses the situation mm-hmm. as an opportunity to uh, demonstrate his power and yes, to show yeah. it because uh, we don't really know his power until we experience it. Yeah. And Job said that in Job 42. He, he says, I, I had heard about the power of God, but now mm. I've seen it. Mm. And mm-hmm. that's just a powerful passage there and something, um, you know, if you think back to your life, I'm sure there are areas where you may have once talked about the power of God and professed your belief in it, but because of the valleys of life and the difficulties of life, maybe now you know it's a thing. And I I always say that this is a... I don't want to say it's like a matter of perspective or it's a it's a fault in our or in our human nature, but it kind of is in our perspective of how we approach these situations. I would say if those um, if these kind of temptations or trials or situations, bad things that happen, if they feel bad to you, I think that that's a wake up call um, for like what's hell going to be like. Mm. It's going to be like that continually yeah. with no hope 
and with no reprieve and no, uh, 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 I, I guess, coddling or comfort from the Lord. Right. It is only through His comfort and, and, and what He gives to us in the Spirit and, and the strength that He provides for us that we're even able to get through those situations to begin with. So we have to kind of change how we approach our thoughts to these trials, I think, a part of it. Uh, yeah, I, I agree, and I, I think it is um, – uh, it's there's the challenge. Yeah, Cody, exactly. Is, when you're is, in it, it's it's very hard to do, yeah. Well, yeah. We can say that when we're not in a trial. You know? um, when we're in the valley yeah. and the, the sight is limited and all we yeah. see in front of us is, is more – um, in, in, instead of you know maybe up the head is a light and we're thinking to our ourself well there's there's another train coming to you know <laughs> run over me and and and, point. and sometimes it feels like that and, yeah. and we go where is God during mm-hmm. this why I've been in this forever and I just don't think I'm ever going to get get free of this okay. and yet the scripture challenges us that these things are always temporary. Um, ultimately, it's temporary because our life is temporary, mm-hmm. and so even mm-hmm. if you don't find deliverance in this life, you have the promise of what is to come. And yeah. really, that's Paul's point in Romans five too, where he talks about uh, difficulties produce endurance, and endurance produces character, and character leads to hope. Yes, yeah. and so the, all of these things have a way of sharpening our hope um, for the life that is to come. So we're going to talk about all these things, Cody, on Sunday. Here at Cornerstone, it's really good topic, good lesson. Part two of a uh, of a two part series. It's in the middle of a four part series. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> so it's a great topic. Yeah. I, this is always a question that comes up. I think you know, it's, and it's very prevalent. It, it is, and and so if you're struggling right now, we want you to come visit with us and find some hope, find some comfort. God will provide that. He will provide it on his own. Mm-hmm. He will also provide it through his people. Yep. And so we need to have our strong relationships with our with his people and keep doing our very best just to, to – he only promises us today. That's right. And he says, I will give you the strength that you need to get through today, and tomorrow will take care of itself. Jesus said that, by the way, in Matthew six thirty four. So – We need to believe it and need to trust it. So come out and be with us Sunday at Cornerstone. We'll see you guys next week. God God bless. bless.